Okay, hi everybody. Um, thought I'd do. Uh, I've done some gathering circuit videos, and they're kind of a dime a dozen. And I have one more that I've been messing around with my video tools with, but I haven't finished that. But this time, I thought I'd just give you some great gathering tips. Um, I'm a level 60 player, kind of in the lower end of level 60. Let me show you what I got here. So. Um, you can see most of my stuff is 600. I'm getting close. I still have a ways to go on a few items. I have a number of gear sets. Uh, it's a new a new feature. If you are uh, play, if you're playing uh, season one, this is where we are now. If you're playing season one, you can earn some uh, marks of fortune. Uh, if you get 5,000 worth, you can buy yourself a gear set I believe it comes with two you get two and then 5,000 marks of fortune which is basically a real world five dollars um, get you those but you can earn some through play and let me show you that real quick so they offer marks of fortune this is the premium track which you pay for and this is the free track but you get some marks of fortune I think if you go through the whole line, you'll get more than enough to, uh, or almost enough to get your, buy yourself another set of, uh, another gear set. Anyway. So anyway. Go back here where I was. So that's where I am. I'm about a third of the way through, which is, which isn't bad. I've been playing quite a bit lately. I'm about to get an upgrade. Oh, it's great. Anyway, so um, so regardless of what level player you are, um, the only difference that um, this video has for low level versus high level players is the amount that you can carry. So if you're if you're a really low level player and you don't have a bunch of heavyweight satchels like these. Um, you're limited in how much you can gather at once. But, however, anybody can gather iron. Now, I don't really need iron. I have an abundance of it. I'll use some of it if I happen to gather some higher tier, tier materials. If I, like I said, I gather some uh, uh, star metal. I could use uh, iron to make steel to make star metal. Anyway, so I'm going to grab just a couple trees while I'm here. Oh, oh. Now, I always like to grab a few trees while I'm out, especially in a place where it's got a really nice dense pack without any you know, mobs around or anything like that, so you can just gather peaceably and quickly because it's, they're so dense. But you always want to try to gather uh, just a, at least some of whatever you come across. I, I don't go out of my way to gather tier 1 materials. Uh, but I do make gathering that part of my normal thing. Um, but aside from the utilities you progress, almost everything, almost everything, um, has value. And by value, I mean coin. It's worth, so much of the simple stuff is worth a lot of coin. I think on my world, which is Valhalla, um, I forget what iron ore is going for. It's going for like, 10 or 12 cents. 10 or 12 cents for iron ore. So even if you really have no immediate use for it, um, you know, it, don't pass these things by. Um, I mean, if you're, if you're pressed, you're trying to get somewhere, and you have limited storage, you're trying to get something specific for an important reason. Then, okay, right there. See, I got a small quartz crystal. Those things, those are the most, it's the most common craft mod there is. A small quartz crystal. But it's also really valuable. Especially on Saturday. For whatever reason, on Saturday, you get the best value when you sell these things. And as soon as I get back to a settlement, I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm just going to go around here. And there's a lot, of, a lot of iron ore if I'm not careful. Now, if you're a low-level player, you grab every piece of iron there is. You're going to fill up really quick. Um... So you might have to, you know, just grab a little bit of iron, get a little bit of lumber or wood. Um, 
and you definitely want to go to these settlements around. Let me show you where I'm at. There's um, Windsward Capital right there, and I I went down this way, came down here, and then I've made my way over here. So there's some Tier 5 materials that I'm going to scout, but this settlement here, Campbell's Rest, is kind of typical. This is probably recommended for, let me see, 14. So you don't have to be high level at all. This is one of the early ones. And the reason why you really always want to go to a settlement like this when you're out gathering is because you're raising your gear every time you kill, kill everything. Um, because you're raising your um, weapons uh, score every time you do. So it's important that you use your weapons frequently in order to raise their score. So, and okay, Blight root here. Here's a great example. Okay, Blight root. I got six death modes. A moat, almost any moat, is worth about two coin on my world. So I just got 12 coin. Right there, just that one little thing. 12 coin. That's great. And you always want to go to the supply crates. Um, a lot of times they won't give you anything. They'll give you some uh, reagents that you, you need copious amounts of to, to do any refining. Um, so you always need them. But they they will yield a few craft mods here and there. And I'm sure we'll see some here as I go through this settlement right here. I'm just going to go here. and Alright, there you go. I got an iron guardsman. Insignia, another, it's the mo one of the most common craft mods, but extremely valuable. It's like, I think it's like 10, sometimes more. Some of these are like, uh, especially on Saturday, they're worth like 100 coin. 100 coin for one really common craft mod that you're going to pick up by the dozens as you go by. Alright, that I just sold a piece of a jewelry that I made. That's what that $73 was. 73 coin was. So as you're going along and you're, you know, raising your skills, so one of the things you have to do, of course, there's a, a jewel making skill. Let me show you that. Trade skills. There you go. Jewel crafting. And I'm at 171. So you raise your level by, of course, crafting jewelry. So um, what I do is um, I'll craft a whole bunch at once. And then I'll sell a little bit off here and there. I'll store it away. And then I'll just sell it off like three or four pieces at a time. Um, because if you flood the market with uh, with your goods, the price will go way down. Because other people who are trying to sell something will see your price and price it there's a little lower. And so on and so forth. So I don't sell a whole lot at once. I sell a little bit here, a little bit there. Just to uh, my carry weight tends to kind of bloat over time as I get it, get a few extra things in my backpack. Um, so every now and then I have to be a little extra vigilant. Let's see what I get here in this loot? Just potion. So loot also will provide you with uh, those craft mods from time to time. And of course I'm killing everything because you raise your gear score. I'm trying to get my bow up to level 20. My bow's at level 17 now. So this, these last couple of points are really tedious to get, especially in low level areas. If I go to like, you know, if I'm shooting at level 60 mobs, uh, it goes a lot quicker if, if I kill it with the bow. Um, however, the, another trick I use is I'll take the first shot with the bow to drag them in and then I'll polish them off with something that has a little more power. Understand that at this moment right now, um, season one, um, and the game's about a year and a half old now. Um, so at this point in season one, the most powerful weapon I believe is the fire staff. They've redone the fire staff in this latest update, and it's basically, I think, the strongest weapon there is out there. I think it used to be the musket. Um, my musket's not very high level, but um, I'm gathering all this broccoli. Um, but so anyway, so they made the fire staff the number one. I'm not using it because I want to raise about the, the score on my bow. 
So I have to use the bow all the time in order to do that. Okay, um, I gathered all that broccoli because that broccoli is worth like two, depending on the day and the demand, the broccoli is worth between um, about two coin each. So I don't know how many I just gathered there, but nuts are also valuable. But don't pass the nuts by. Let's see how much. Uh, let's see where's. Oh, it's down here. I got 35 broccoli, so that's roughly 70 coin. Even if I'm not gonna do anything with it, it's still 70 coin. So take it. Oh, I didn't kill this guy. He's gonna come get me. Where are you going? Alright. Oh, I took a hit. I hate taking a hit. I kind of play my own little game of getting everybody without taking any hits. When you take any damage, damage actually does cost you. It doesn't cost you much, but as you play the game over a long time, it costs you quite a bit. So there's one player at the edge there. There was a, a, a while there, there were, I had there were players camped out on the western side of this settlement because uh, Raffle Bones tended to appear here. Raffle Bones is like a, a rogue boss, but if he happens to show up, I don't think I've seen him since season one started, but if he happens to show up and you manage to kill him, you'll get a um, obsidian gypsum and three of those and you can make a gypsum more. So seeing Raffle Bones was a was kind of a big deal, and a whole bunch of people were camped out there. They're always cutting down trees, just anything busy, make busy work to be there when Raffle Bones appeared. See, I'm not charging my bow shot enough, and my bow's powerful enough to take out these guys with a single hit if I just charge it a little bit. That was a good miss. Must have hit something else, because I got... Bow mastery, and if you noticed, I was collecting the carrots because, uh, yeah, the carrots are have value too. They're they're worth. Uh, sometimes they're under two, sometimes they're over, but usually a carrot's about two coin per. So I've got a total of ten carrots now, so I got twenty coin just for that. It's ridiculous. So I just wanted to make sure you understand that. Every oh yeah, I killed I accidentally killed him. There's a guy who's right here. I accidentally killed him. Even this um I found out that even this uh, is this tangle wisp, is that what it's called? Yeah, tangle wisp. Even this tangle wisp is worth basically it's worth gathering. So there's very little that isn't worth gathering. Um so when you to bull rush, you gather bull rush. You, you you might get firefly bait, and you get reeds, and you get bull rush. Now the reeds aren't worth anything. They're worth like two cents, one cent, two cents. By the way, if you happen to collect a lot of them, sell them off anyway because uh, that adds up too. And um, especially if you have limited space. Um, it just clears out your space, so you get a, you make a, a little coin to clear out your space. So, huh. uh, and, and, you know, and New World's such a um, expansive game; it's so so complex. There's so many pieces to it that every little thing. It's not a, a a game of going in there and defeating the big boss. It's a game of doing all the little things over and over. It's a major grind, but you can really make that grind a lot better um, by taking max advantage of earning coin. Of course, you earn coin, you can um, buy almost everything in the game. So, in fact, um, this uh, this past weekend, I made 22,000 coin. 22,000, that's correct. Um, just by selling off not everything that I collected, just the extra extra. You know, so my my extra extra um, craft mods, like Softwood Tree Sap, that's another one really valuable. Um, so, you know, I'll get, you know, maybe 
couple hundred, 100 hundred or two hundred a week of softwood tree sap. So I always, uh, so I'll, you know, I keep at least like a hundred, but I'll sell off all the rest. And, uh, and this past weekend I did that, and it's like made twenty-two thousand coins. You can do a lot with twenty. You can buy the nicest house in your preferred settlement for twenty thousand coins. So if you don't, if you don't own the house yet, um, try to save. Uh, try to make sure that you have at least ten thousand to spend on your first house, because you can buy a, a twenty thousand coin house for ten thousand. You get a 50% discount. The upkeep is a little daunting, but if you use my suggestions, you'll have no trouble paying for the upkeep. It's just a matter of taking care of the basics. If you just do the basics, like here's more nuts. So I don't go out of my way to get nuts, of course, um, but when I see them right there in front of me, I collect them. Another thing is, um, is when you're in a settlement, I'm coming up to another one here. This one is Clearwater Bend. Here's the one we were just at, Campbell's Rest. And there's the Windsward Sediment where I started. I'll probably come up around here and go right back. Um, so, although I should go down here. Nyhart's Anchorage. That's a great place to go. I should have probably gone there first. Let's do that. There's a... Um, one star fishing spot here. I don't know exactly. I don't do much fishing here. Yeah, they call it the one star broad fishing. I don't do much fishing here um, because it's just not. Oh, some, see, someone, someone is wise. They've collected these oil seeping stone nodes. You say, well, why didn't you collect that other tangle wisp? Well, because it's just out of my way. I don't go. I don't need to go out of my way for it. It's not worth that much. I accidentally collected them over there. That's okay, because you need stone too. And if you're not, if you're really fretting over your storage thing, I'll give you a quick primer on storage tips to, because you probably already have a. If you don't already know, you have more storage than you think you do. So if you watched any of my other videos, you'll see how I manage my storage. It's pretty simple to really maximize your storage capabilities. And of course, if you buy a house, like say you uh, buy your first house for $10,000, you buy a, a 20,000 coin house for 10,000 coin, and then you um, put a couple of chests in it, which you can get relatively, especially if you follow the tips I'm giving you here, um, you'll be able to afford, afford to put, you can put four chests in there, and all of a sudden you've got, you know, if you put um, four 600 weight chests in there, well that's, you know, 2,400 extra weight you can have. Which will pretty much solve all your problems if you're a lower mid player. As far as gathering. Can't hit him through the door. Alright. So usually when I go into these little shacks and stuff like that, I use my sword. Because bow isn't very effective up close. Give it, give me just a little bit of distance, so I'll use my bow just because I'm trying to get that level up. Otherwise, I can't wait to get my bow up there so I can use that fire staff. I might just use the fire staff anyway when the when the um, I think uh, when when, I, when the need be. I think in here in this particular settlement, there's like 16 ch uh, crates or chests, we call them, um, and a couple of them. Uh, their provision, a couple of them will yield you onion. And you might get like five or ten onion out of this particular area here. And it's level 17, so it gets, it's another low level area. You're always best to take out all these guys that are visible before you tackle the boss on the ship. Because they'll tend to kind of mob you. Down below. 
which I th means I think this area is clear now. I think there's only that one guy down here. Okay. So anyway, so there's um, a couple of the provision crates here that will give you onion. And on my world, onion is worth about 10 coin for one. You get 5 or 10 here. So you make 100 coin real quick just by coming here and and doing all the crates and of course you're getting territory standing you're improving your weapon score oh shit I should use my sword so if you hit, hit them once with one weapon finish them off with another the um Awards are 50% for each, but of course, if you're once you've maxed out a weapon, you don't get anything for it. You don't get any any improvement for using it. So I basically get half. See, I don't get nothing for using the sword, but I do get for. See, I got standing and extra bow mastery points, weapon mastery points. So that's why I am using the bow like that. I've already been up there. I don't, it's not easy to get that guy, so I'll just keep going. Not all these shacks in here, especially the little ones. The little shacks don't usually have any crates in them, but sometimes they do, so don't be fooled. Check them out if you're not sure. I'm trying to get to one of these, uh, Provision crates that give you the onion. Those are, those are really sweet. I always try to come here when I'm in the area just because you get so many provisions. You get some craft mods and you get coin in the form of valuable resources. So while I'm here, what the best I can hope for is to improve my bow mastery, gain a little bit of territory standing. You don't really gain a lot of territory standing from doing any of these activities. You get them from the project board in town. Okay, here's one. Let's see if I can get a onion. Oh, look, I got four onions. So that's 40 coin right there. So good reason to to uh, Come here. <clears throat> you're gonna you're gonna make some coin, and of course you 100 coins. So if you got a if you got a house, depending on a, a number of other factors, you might be looking at um, you know 100 100 coin a week for the house. So by doing these things, you get you cover that up, and if you take damage, you're gonna every time you do a repair, you're gonna you're gonna be spending coin. And what you get from sometimes when you um, kill a mob, you you get yourself a, a little coin, and that kind of sets off your repair bill when when you get it, which isn't always. Just occasionally, it you'll kill a mob and it'll drop. Oh, it's like two coin or three coin, and like I said, that kind of offsets what you spend on the um, <clears throat> repair. Excuse me. There's a couple of um, crates in here that can give us onion, I do believe. We're almost done here. There's a tunnel underneath with a couple of more pr provision crates that we're going to hit up real quick. You can see. And it, it Oh, uh, looks like I got four, four points, 70 coin. I'm shooting that one guy, and that'll probably just about cover my repair bill. Of course, if you don't fall from a greater height, you don't take any damage when you're going down, and, and none of the bad guys get you, do you any damage. I, oh, I got a nice recipe. I got, I got seven onion there. So it's already, so I'm already well over 100 coin for visiting this. Like I said, plus I get bow mastery, territory standing, 
craft mods, oodles of supplies. You, you, you always need supplies, so you always have to collect them. So I always like, always like to collect them from the, the places where their uh, crates are most numerous and um, kind of kind of grouped in here. This is a, a bigger settlement, but it has a lot of chests. I think I got them all here, except for the two in the... the these guys here, act, they react pretty quick. So you get close to them and they pop right up and start in on you. Well, there is a... there it is. Let's see, there's a stairwell down. Now I could jump down and, you know, uh, it wouldn't wouldn't really hurt me, but I would take some damage, and then I have to uh, repair that damage, and that costs me money. So that's why I'm saying um, take care, because that little bit of money over time makes a difference. And that's really the new world's about all the little things that make a difference. As far as if you you know really want to get ahead in the game quickly, which. I didn't learn until um, a lot of these tips that I'm sharing. I didn't. I didn't learn any of them until I was already level 60. I just kind of ran around like a madman, grabbing what I could. Four more onion. I don't know how I missed that guy. So I took a hit there, but I will. This guy, I think you have to hit twice, three times. Just there's another provision case here. Oh, still just supplies. So I get these weapons. I'm a, of course I'm a tier five player, so I really can't use any tier two weaponry. I mean I could, but why? Um, I like the axe that looks like a shovel. Um, so of course you use those you use lower tier weapons for repair parts basically and maybe some coin but there's not much coin in them in these low level weapons which I think I wish they, had, they, they um, paid a little better that would be a nice bonus but okay I got eight water moats so that's 16 coin there and six water moats 12 so I got 28 coin just by picking those two two things and, and most are heavy but um, you typically don't run across so many of them that it, they bog you down and I'm really thinking about you uh, newer players that don't have a lot of carry weight available I like these trees right here so these trees give you four young uh, then you get four trees in one that's 21 plus 12 that's 33 Plus 15, that's 48. Plus 12, that's 60. So I got 60 green wood just from doing that one, one little thing. And I just, you know, I'll, I'll do a couple of those when I run across them. Of course, uh, you know, me, I do, I'm do, I do a lot of refining. So you do a lot of refining. You need uh, charcoal for any metal, any smelting. So you gotta have a, a lot of charcoal for that, which means a lot of green wood. Okay, so um, I usually do a longer circuit, but I don't see why we need to prolong this here. Let me show you the rest of the gathering tips. So let's just go ahead and travel back to our settlement. So I'm going back to Windsward, which is kind of my home base. Now I can recall the house and save all my Azoth, but I'm gonna get 12 Azoth back in no time flat. And if I'm already at my max, I can't collect any. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend 12 Azoth to go back and not use that. And um, so I do have a 20,000 coin house here, a tier four house. I'll take you inside real quick. So usually when I get back to the settlement, the first thing I do is I empty out my backpack. And by backpack, I mean my the satchels that I carry around, uh, anything I carry. So 
So here's my version of my house. And I don't have a, a whole lot of stuff in here. Got a few nice little odds and ends. I have a collection of chests in here. I believe I, I have three or four chests in this thing here. This is a corrupted chest down here that I got. Um, I picked up just, I happened to get some loot. But then I think I have three, um, I forget what they're called. I have three um, of the, um, their 800 weight chests. And they, they see I got 11. I thought I got more, but I got 11 onions. That's great. Um, so I got all together. So I got like, I think I have more chests in there. Uh, the problem when you stack them all up. One, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure. I think there's one more behind. On the bottom behind that one. Yeah, see, there's four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, so that gives me... And I've got... I'm a, I'm a high standing here in Windsward. So, uh, well... I'll just show you. 4875 is my storage capacity in Windsward. So I could put pretty much, you know, I could put a lot of stuff in there. I have a lot more than that. But so before I, I keep these schematics around, just um, some of them are worth something. But if they're, if you can only sell them for a dollar. They're really hardly worth selling. In fact, if you try to sell one and you don't set the time, the expiration time of, real short it'll end up costing you more to list it than you can make on it so not a good idea okay i thought i got some uh oh i think i'm sure i did look at the wrong thing here yeah i wanted to smelt a little bit of gold don't really need any silver at all i have plenty of ingots i really don't need iron either i got i got i got plenty of iron ingots but anyway i wanted to show you this so here we go so we went on a little little run, and you, you know, so if you're like a level 20 player, you can do that run, no problem. And there's a couple even lower level runs around here that basically the same thing, except, you know, you just, you know, just a little less of it. And you get the same kind of things and everything. So I'm going to sell. I may not actually sell, but I just want to show you. So age wood, what is age wood worth? Age worth is 10 cents per. So I've got 199. So that's 19 coin for the few pieces of wood I chopped. Um, let's see what else did I? Broccoli. Broccoli. All right. 250 per. Uh, what did I collect? I collected. Forty-nine. So that's like a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Hundred twenty-five coins, excuse me, for broccoli. I got a hundred twenty-five coin just for picking up that broccoli. So as you can see, um, every little run you make um, can yield you quite a bit. So I sell forty-nine. I'm not going to sell forty-nine. But I sold forty-nine. Oh, hundred eighteen. Uh, anyway, I will sell 24, which will leave me 150 in my inventory, which tells me I just did a purge. I just sold some off. So, but there's 57 coin right there. Well, let's see, what else did we collect while we were out this time? But I just want to show you, remember that the, even the wood... Um, is worth something. So if you need coin, uh, just collect anything. Iron ore. Let's go there. Iron ore. Um, let's see, we have some er, moats. Uh, 1.27 for one moat. So you get like five or six. You average it. Let's, we'll just say five. You average five. So that's six and a quarter coin. For each little, you know, thing you um, you harvest, so everything you do is worth quite a bit. Pay iron isn't worth anything. Oh, look, they're paying for someone is paying 15 cents for pay iron. Okay, so maybe if you're a level two player, you can use pay iron, but 
I can't. And the prices change dr drastically all the time, so I'm always double checking. I keep my Bay Iron in Morningdale. Yes. So I'm going to keep 50. And I'm going to sell the rest. I'm going to put that 36 there. I would keep 50 just so that, that next time the price is good, I can I have some to sell. I never sell everything, or let me say almost never. Rarely sell everything. Okay, so now we'll go to sell, and these listings are alphabetical, so we get to pay iron pretty quick. If you know your alphabet, that is. There we go. So now I got 38 to sell at 15. And I sell all 38. I made five coin. You say whoop de doo, five coin. Yeah, but I'm selling five coin ten times uh, on per trip. Remember, I cut this trip short. I usually would. So I would. I get 50. I get 50 coin of the five five coin stuff. And, and normally on a trip, I'd probably get. Remember, I only sold half of the broccoli I just collected this time. If I sold all the broccoli. I, Collected, it would have been. I mean, uh, Bay Iron. Well, I. You get the point. Bay Iron isn't worth much. It's a premium. You know, I finally got the Brimstone Sands cactus. Cactus flesh is really easy to get there, and it's 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 worth something. It's kind of like the broccoli and the carrots. Now let's see. I, I think I made. I I gathered ten carrots. Look, two seventy-five per carrot. So I'm gonna sell those ten carrots we just gathered. Another twenty six fifty six with the five dollars in pay iron. That's thirty bucks right there. So you can see this is adding up really quick. Uh, probably won't sell any of the wood. I did. I did collect a few cauliflower. Look at that. Let's sell. Th I think I got three cauliflower. Let's see what. What did I get in cauliflower? I collected three cauliflower. So we're like fifty six bucks now. Let's sell that cauliflower too. You're going to see that, you know, I made probably a couple hundred coin, a hundred, at least a hundred, let's say. So 56, and I'm going to sell the three cauliflower I gathered. Twenty-nine, so that's like eighty-five. So somewhere around eighty-five coin right now. And then let's go to the onion. I collected eleven onion. I'll sell ten to keep one. I already have some onion, but let's just go right to the onion. And then we'll do, all right, so I'm gonna sell 10 onion, 10, over 10 bucks per. So that's 97. So I'm on, on a, that's, we'll just say 180 so far. And I haven't done, let's go, let's see, look at the nuts. Oil, I got 32 oil, it's selling for a little over have a coin per so let's see we'll sell half of it 850 it's close to 190 coin there um, nuts let's see what we're getting for nuts right now 31 let's see what did I collect I collected 27 let's sell 25 749 so basically we're we're getting right close to and I haven't even sold everything that that uh, we collected I'm not gonna sell the wood um, I didn't sell quite all we collected and I'm not gonna sell the, any of the moats either but they're, they're worth money so if you need money sell half what you collected and you'll get quite a bit these I get when I when I'm uh, mining so I don't really need any silver at all, but I'll mine it just to get, look, someone's paying 45 for, for flawed ruby. That's not bad, that's not great, but it's not bad. But let's go to the silver here. So this is how you're really gonna make a lot of money every day. Every day you play, you can, you can make, we just did one quick trip that was about, I guess that was about 20 minutes or so. So silver only pays 11 cents per, but 
Look, I got almost a thousand without even thinking about it. So let's just let me sell it all. Ninety-eight coin. I wasn't even thinking about it. Uh, and I, I don't know. I don't know if I gathered all the silver while I was on this video or not. I did some. Uh, I did a little mining earlier before. I, yes, I did. I did some mining before I started the video. Um, in this area right here. So I started the video basically here, really right, right around here. But I come down here and I went up through here, and I got some gold and silver. Um, happened to be uh, this happened. This is where some weirdwood is, and it was full, so I got some weirdwood too. But I use those resource. I'll use the weirdwood. But the gold and silver that I find up on this ridge here, I, I typically always just sell it. I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to actually um, refine the gold because I've been using quite a bit lately. I just want to boost my stockpiles a little bit. Not, not nothing, you know, nothing I need to. I still have like a, well over a thousand gold ingots, so it'd be a long time before I actually needed any. But I'll just, I'll just refine that gold just to keep from needing it because I got let's see what I got in uh in our reagents so um let's see 150 250 to about 275 uh, reagents and of course they're super convertible so you do you do take a um is it a 25% uh, loss on the conversion but they're so convertible that, and that's another thing. So you need some reagent. Let's say you need obsidian flux. So you're going to buy some obsidian flux. You just made 200 coin, so you can afford to buy a little obsidian flux. So let's uh, go to buy some obsidian flux. Obsidian flux, right. So they want 23 Um for obsidian flux, but, but, if you, let's see, one of these here has the, has the, um, not consumables. Um, where is the, um, there's a place where there, those reagents are listed. Yes, okay, okay, pure solvent. Remember the um, obsidian flux was like 23 cents. The pure solvent is one cent, and there's plenty of people selling a massive quantity for one cent. So. Remember, you lose 25%. So, basically, um, instead of paying 23 cents per, you buy the solvent for you know one twentieth of the price, less 25%. So that's one fifteenth of the price. So buy the pure solvent and then convert it with a master material converter, and I'll show you how that really works. So if you're doing your faction missions, which you should be doing because you get coins for that every day, you get like uh, two or three hundred coin per day if you do three faction missions. So I'm going to open this up. I don't think I have one to turn in right now. So, And, and once you uh, hit your daily bonuses, your first three, the um, tokens you get goes way down. So, but, so right now... Um, before I hit my daily bonus, I typically get 2,400 tokens for one of these. So I'll go ahead and pick that one. I try to do this one almost every day. It's an easy one to do. Low level, you could do it regardless of what level you are, unless you're like level 4 or something. And that'll give me 2,400 tokens. And since I'm already at my token max, and I keep... I, I keep I keep myself at max. So I turned in a mission where I earned 2,400 tokens, but I'm already at max. I'll be getting nothing for it. So before I turn it in, I go to rewards. I go down to the tier 2 rewards, or Templar. And Masterwork Material Converter, 100 tokens. And I buy 24 Master Material Converters, which will cost me 2,400 tokens. 
And they'll come out of here. Uh, this will be 2400 lower. And then I'll click on the thing and it'll put the 2400 back. And I'll be right back at max again. If you don't do it that way, you're gonna you're, you're missing out. So, so if I do two two of these, there's another one right next to this one. It's not up here right now, but it will be. Um, so you can make 48 master material converters easy per day without even thinking about it. And on that on that particular route where those two missions are, um, there's quite a bit of, of resources I do like to collect every day. So and then of course, um, so you take your tannin or solvent that you get and you can use that remember the obsidian flux is 23 cents the tannin one cent so if I want some obsidian flux I can use it or the pure salt was a pure solvent that was one cent a lot as a lot of times that this is two so one cent per pure solvent let's um I'm going to make five. So, so if I use five, I'm going to use 20 pure solvents times five. So I'm going to use 100 pure solvents, one cent a piece, one coin, and I'm going to get I'm going to get I get a bonus. I would get 75, 75 at 25 cents per, which is like. Uh, I don't know, eight, nine dollars, something like that, eight, nine coin. So instead of spending eight or nine coin for Obsidian Flux, I spent one coin for the tanning converted and used the free material converters that I got by doing the faction missions. So uh, so that's an easy way to get a lot of uh, uh, the, the flux in the sandpaper I use the most of because I do mostly metals in the wood conversions. Anyway, so... Um, at this point, I'll, I'm going to show you a couple other things, but, you know, basically you got the, the real gist. Oh, yeah, yeah so, so always get the honey, because it's, it's worth something, too. It's right there. You, if you got room to carry it, if you don't, put it in your storage. And you say, well, my storage is full, too. Well, you have access to all your storages right here. You can put it in any storage you have. So that's one reason you want to try to visit as many settlements and outposts as you can, because once you access, once you visit them, you get a storage, you get extra storage from them. So you always, so that's one. And so if you're a, a very low-level player and you haven't visited a lot of places yet, even if you can just kind of scoot in and out of there, you get the storage. So you know, just and don't run through the guys uh, I see a lot of low level players you just run like hell through the guys you know and most of the time no they cannot catch you but instead of doing that use a little finesse you have to get really close to them for them to even notice you so um, get get in the habit of using finesse finesse around them instead of getting their attention um, and that's going to serve you really well because you know there are going to be places where you're going to want to stop and collect something. You got a, you know you got six mobs chasing you, and uh, they're going to interfere with that. And then someone else might come along and collect that while you're dealing with them. So yeah, just run around them. I mean, they, you have to be really close, unless you have a taunt active, which we won't, we won't bother talking about that right now. Um, but you have to be really close to get their attention. So just go around them. You can almost always go around all of them. I mean, like 99%, you never have to grab their attention. So even if you're going into an area that's a little above your pay grade, um, you can usually get to the main settlement without attracting any any attention at all. And so that's one good way to increase your storage really good. I'll, I'll take that one. Look, I already have it done here. Bingo! So I, I updated my my territory standing. So I'm at um, 117 in Winsward. So at this level, you don't get a whole lot. So I get 0.3% gather speed. This one's a little lower, so I'll get 1% faction reputation, which I don't really care about this, or I'll get 0.4% standing gain. But this time, I'll pick, even though it's the least uh, amount of all three, remember, um, 
New World is a game of increments, tiny increments that just add up. So all that little adding up, and now I gather my gather speed in in, in all of Windsward is 35% faster. All of it. I don't have to apply any 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 potion or get any perk. I just I get that all throughout the entire territory without even thinking about it. Bingo. And also. So you you know you get your um, so uh, let's say you play for uh, two hours. In those two hours, you go on a few small circuits. You go through you know we'll say six settlements. Um, and you go through let's say you do three circuits, six settlements. Um, you gather two hundred coin worth of extras in each. Remember, we got more than than I sold. Uh, which I could have sold, but I didn't. Um, in each of those settlements, um, so let's say you you get 600 coin from day, you get a couple hundred coin from your faction missions, and we'll just say you get, just for get round numbers. Uh, I don't I don't need territory standing. Uh, just for round numbers, let's say you you can get we'll say two and a half hours, you get a thousand coin per day. So you get a thousand coin per day, and that's not including uh, if you get when you get when you get more valuable stuff, which is kind of rare, but um, so you can get a thousand coin a day. The craft mods are really valuable, and remember, you're just going to put them away and store them. Um, the ones you don't use, which you're probably not going to be using a lot of them. You're probably going to get some of them that I should show you that. Really, uh, let's see. Do I have any on me? Let's see. Well, I've got um, the Softwood Tree Sap, the Iron Guard, and the Small Quartz Crystal. These are, these three are very common. That's why I have six, two, and three of them in that one little trip, remember? Um, because they're so common to get. Um, but we'll take a look at this now. It's not Saturday, so I probably won't. Let's start with the Iron Guardsman. Oh yeah, the honey that I just collected, <laughs> 74 cents per, so I got like four coin just by picking that one up, and I could just sell it, you know, make four coin, you say, well, what's four coin? Well, you can see four coin here, four coin there, before you know it, you got 100 coin, without even thinking, Iron Guardsman insignia, I picked up two of those, look at that, look at that, $121 or coin per Iron Guardsman, so I just made 242 coin by picking up those two it's ridiculous right 242 that was on top of the you know basically what would work out to be a thousand so if we triple that out that would be another 600 so so basically what i'm telling you is you can make you easily make two or three thousand coin per day let's look out the um the, let's see the um softwood tree sap Remember, these are the most common. You're most likely to get those. Softwood tree sap. 16 per. We got six. So that's uh, almost 100 coin right there. And, and here's another one. S small, where is it? Small quartz. Small quartz crystal. We got three of those. 24 another 75 so we got 220 um, 75 it's 295 and and almost a hundred here we'll say 95 so you, you see so yeah, and that was just one little little tiny quick I got the soft with tree sap because I cut down a few trees you know so uh, your luck this is where your luck comes in. So if you want to add more luck while you're out doing stuff, you can use one of these. These trade skill foods. Now I'm using mostly tier 5 now. It increases your luck. But even when you're low level, um, you can raise your cooking skills making trade skill foods, which are, you know, depending on what level you make. But they'll, they'll benefit you. Um, so you'll get more of those, those things. I have a major loop look. Uh, loot luck trophy that um, 
So that basically, I don't need to use these very often. If I'm knowing I'm going into a big area where I'm going to do a bunch of one particular activity, I'll do that. And up here, repair these. Let's see. Um, see, I spent ten dollar, ten coin repairing. So, ouch! That adds up if you. That was just one r little run. Um, so you're gonna. It's, that's gonna cost you. So you really need to make make quite a bit to make sure that you don't, you don't you don't end up with less coin than when you started. So anyway. So here, I've uh, used all that coin that I collect every day, and every now and then I'll buy a piece of this, what I call uh, gathering armor. So I've got minor goggles here, and most of these, uh, some of them go pretty cheap. A um, couple hundred coin for, like, the minor shoes, I believe it was 200 coin for that. And of course, every world is different, every market is different, but you just keep checking back. Um, so there's miner, harvester, Lumberjack and Skinner. So, um, and there's complete outfits of all of all you're going to do is, you know, harvest or mine or skin or cut down trees. You can just load up on the one outfits, but they're um, a lot of them are real expensive. So, I've just been most of the pieces I've got are I bought, I think I spent a couple thousand when, um, last weekend when I got the 22,000 coin for sale. <laughs> Selling off my softwood tree sap and my small quartz crystals and my ironwood battle and just the extra ones. And remember, I, I didn't. I I kept most of them, so I've got like you know probably twenty thousand coin worth of small quartz crystals or whatever you know iron battle mage things. So yeah, I've got a huge reserve. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, so. So just to let you know, so there are these outfits that give you extra luck. You can see I get an extra 5% chance at finding rare items while skinning. And I basically just put, I take my regular armor and replace it with these when I'm, you know, I'm going in an area where I'm not facing really any, any kind of threats at all or any credible threats to me. Um, and that really lowers, that lowers my, my score quite a bit. So if I go to, uh, my max armor set. You can see my gear score goes up quite a bit. I have a gathering set. So anyway, so just so you know, <clears throat> so if you're wondering what you could spend your money on, so you look at those, that, um, that gathering armor and look for something that's cheap in your store. Um, it's almost always worth the effort. Uh, my major loot luck trophy cost me like 20,000 coin, but it has paid off. But you really want to have, you know, you really want to have a cushion. You, uh, I would say don't even think about buying that or the materials to craft that, which will cost you the same 20,000 coin or even 25,000 um, until you're well over 100,000. you got a couple of houses. Um, you can get a, um, a miner or a basic trophy cheaper, and, and those will help you out. So, you know, get what you want and see... What are we? Oh, we're at the trade post. So. Let's see what. Minor loot luck trophy. You have to be a three, but it's. See, it's selling for 500 coin. And basically, I, I showed you how you can get that easily already. So, you know. So, once you get a house, get yourself one. Um. And, and let that start giving you, and that just helps you get more like things like the softwood tree sap and the ironwood battle mage, and the iron battle mage, and you know the um, small quartz crystals. So it helps you get more of those, and they really pay off, as you can see. Um, so these are worth it. So get yourself one of these uh, as soon as you can afford it. And uh, like I said, you spend you uh, spend a couple hours playing. With the tips I've given you, uh, you can afford one of these every day. You only need one. And then, of course, if you want to get a basic one, basic loot book trophy. Okay, they want the cheapest on, on my trading post right now is 14000 Ooh, big difference. Ow, ow, ow. And you need a minor loot book trophy and a stack deck. That's the, that's the key ingredient that's hard to come by. Um, but the stack deck is only, it's basically 4,000 less or 3,000 less than, than the, um, 
than the trophy itself. So, or 4,000 less. So it's 4,000 less. So if you have these items, Woodward Planks, Star Metal Oak Stain, and your Minor Loot Luck Trophy, which you spent five, 450 on, you can get the stacked deck for under 10,000 and craft your own basic loot luck trophy and save yourself for 4,000 coin. So that's you know, what I would recommend that you do for that. Anyway, so that's quite a bit. <laughs> Ooh, this video went a long time. So I'm gonna quit here and uh, happy hunting and hopefully I've given you some really good tips and you'll get very wealthy in this game quickly if you follow them and you'll take all my extras away from me, which you won't really do because so many of them come from loot drops and chests, which every player gets his individually. You don't compete with that with anyone else. So, you know, you can have all the wood and the broccoli. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Thank you very much. Bye.